can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you Welcome back to the show. Welcome back to another video. Today, um, I'm in my 435 finally. It, it's pretty perfect. I'm pretty happy with it. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I don't mess it up. That's what I always do. I always mess up my car somehow or another. I don't know how. Anyway, we're going to head over right now. Let me air it before I actually mess up my wheel was. Uh, we're going to head over to Sears' house right now. We're going to replace his battery because his battery's completely shot. Then we're taking it for a diagnostic. I think I know what the issue is. We're coming down to a, like, we're, we're pretty much rolling out the issues. It has to do something with the valve cover. I feel like, or it could be something with the exhaust valve needing to be repaired. It could be either or. We're gonna take it down to the shop. They're gonna go ahead and diagnose it. They're gonna figure out the exact issue. We have to go down and go down to Sears house, replace his battery, and then take it down to the shop. All right, guys, pulling up. Uh, You ready to go, bro, or what? Oh, for real! So that's what we're here for, guys. We gotta replace this battery real quick. So uh, let's do it. That's a puny ass battery, but it'll work. It'll work. Let's go ahead and replace the battery. He has an H6, which is uh, the minimum that you need. So this should be fine. Yeah. But you spent 170 on this? Damn near, yeah. All right, guys. So see, I picked up a battery, and they charge him 200 dollars for an H6. That is ridiculous, especially Costco. I'm pretty sure they have batteries for 130. So. Um, I mean, let's go down there, replace the battery with a cheaper one. I don't know. They sold him a $200 H6. That's ridiculous. Um, but just to come, I actually just thought about it. Let's remove his battery so at least we have the core up front so you don't charge us a core. So uh, let's get the battery out, take it with us, um, and get a cheaper battery. As we got the battery out, so let's go ahead and take that with us. That's our core, and then we're gonna just go ahead and get a better, cheaper battery, honestly. Leg day. All right, we're taking both these batteries. I actually don't have enough hands to show my car to Costco and hold the camera and hold the battery. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and just leave you guys here. We'll be right back. I just got the new battery. Let's head over to his house and get that thing replaced. So we can take this thing to the shop and figure out what's going on with it. Update guys. Update, what's updates here? Uh, all right, so the update basically happened. We got the wrong battery at Costco. We came back. We just put in the new battery shop. Nora, bruh, appreciate you. Yeah, we're almost good to go. So we got some new grills. We just installed the battery. But before we actually get it diagnosed, mods before maintenance. Yeah, always. <laughs> always. So he picked them up. He's kind of excited, so why not? These are matte. I think they already painted too, so I don't like how they're like that. Let me see the one you have right now. Yeah, so I actually don't know how I feel about this. Mainly, I like the gloss, but I don't know how I feel about the F-Series on the E-Chassis, but it might look good. So let's go ahead and slap it on. And we'll see. Yeah, hopefully. we'll see. Three, two, one. And this is the after. It actually, it's pretty good. I like it. It looks good. So, uh, ready to go to the shop? Let's go. All right, let's go. So, we have to throw all this shit away. I, I don't, don't look how it took this apart. Just don't, don't worry about it. Girls, check. Battery check. Let's head down to HMB Motor Works. Pulling up. Let's see if me or Sear made it here. We went completely two different paths, so uh, let's see if uh, he made it. I don't think so. I think I'm here before him. Not bad. So this is what you guys see at HMB. All the nice cars. <laughs> so we're just waiting on Sear. I guess I am the winner. I mean, we're not really racing. I was driving pretty casually, but uh, I'm here before him, so I consider that a win. Oh, there he is. I see him. <laughs> Took you so long, bro. I was here for like 35 minutes. Good ass. Nah, like five minutes, but both cars are here. Damn, that actually girls look good. The girls look good. So, uh, damn, look at all these other builds. Just to look at a quick little reference, this is E46 M3. I can already see bucket seats, so maybe possibly track car. I'm not too sure. E30 M3, I'm pretty sure. So this is this goes for more than in like a new M4 GTS. This goes for like 60 plus. So that's insane. E36 M3 track car, I'm assuming. Um, is this having a turbo? I think this might have a single turbo because uh, it has that one thing in McBobber. And then, of course, E60 M5. Dude, this thing looks really good. What the hell? Uh, I still feel like my Corolla will dust it. E60 M5. Damn, it's actually starting to grow on me. This actually looks really good. Dude, this this, this should be a table we have at the shop. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's crazy. All right, really cool guy. He just went ahead, took Sears car in. So basically how it works is that you pay by the hour on the diagnostic. So it could take a three hour, four hours. He paid the diagnostic. It'd be like somewhere up to like 400. But while he's in there, he'll know what the issue is, hopefully, and he'll just fix it at the same time. So it's kind of like a pain for labor and uh, and the diagnostic all at once, you know what I mean? So we're just gonna get it fixed here. That's pretty much how it works. So I think how it works is they do that so you get the labor done, you know yeah. what I mean? So it makes sense, it's fine. So hopefully by the time we pick this baby back up, it should be 100% good. Oh, what? But um, I just registered that. <laughs> <laughs> Have you registered it? No, like, 
Oh, you just processed that. Yeah, yeah. So hopefully when we come back, it should be good. Dude. Yeah, it should be good. So what? I'll be really upset if it's something so minor, but because like we did everything minor, but it still could be that little exhaust uh, camshaft sensor down here. It could be. I'm not too sure. But anywho, we'll figure it out. We'll, he'll give us a call when it's all ready to go. We're gonna go out, head out, and eat. Probably get a little something, something small to eat. Some, then, some, um, some, some, some small to eat. Yeah, I, I don't think we can pick it up today. I think we're gonna have to pick it up another day. Um, but yeah, say goodbye to. Uh, what? What? Do you even have a name for this car? Nope. Damn. All right. Well, let's get in copper real quick. All right, guys. So I just got home. As you guys can see, I dropped off C. I just got home from shopping. Got a little sun sun to eat, and then I got a call from H and B saying your car is ready for pickup. And I was like, what? So, um, it has something only very minorly wrong with it. Apparently, lesson to be learned. You guys are about to learn the lesson with eBay parts. Let me go pick up C real quick and tell you guys what's actually happening. I'm sure he's gonna be really happy. The cost to repair is only $150. That's including the diagnostic. So I'm sure he's gonna be really happy. Let's go ahead and give him some good news. Welcome back, buddy. It hasn't even been 30 minutes I'm back with you. Thanks! <laughs> so, um, this is not exactly what happened. What happened? Yeah. Uh... What happened? The camshaft? Uh, you said the engine is messed. You just have to get no, swear. One. Nah. I can't mess with them too long. I feel so bad. No, he said that you know that exhaust system on the bottom that was loose. The what? The bolt? The sensor on the bottom that was loose. I told you. Yeah, is that? Is that thing? <laughs> <laughs> but good news is you replace the sensor and everything is one fifty. It's only one hundred fifty bucks. It's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. And it's one hundred percent good to go. Bro, we literally touched that. I know. Day. We replaced. That's what happens to the eBay parts. We should have went with OEM. You know, lesson learned, guys. There you go. Never go with eBay parts. But your car's good. Your car's good. So, uh, so pick it up. I got my license. <laughs> <laughs> let me know if you make it home, all right? All right, let it do. He's good. Let's go ahead home and hopefully no check engine light. If he gets home without no check engine light, that he's solid. From the looks of it, guys, I think we might make it home. I just got home back in my hometown and then Sia calls me saying the car uh, got the check engine light and he's heading back. Why couldn't he just take it tomorrow? So yeah, my booty is driving back there for the third time today. And uh, I gotta go pick him up. It is what it is. I I, I knew it because I replaced that sensor. I kind of wondered why I threw the code, you know. All right, guys, we came back, and then now we're actually heading out with the car again. So we came back. We did another diagnostic. He said we got a different code, which was a boost leak. So we checked everything, and it literally the charge pipe was disconnected somehow from the bottom end where that connects to the intercooler. So he reconnected that, and he said we should be good. So we didn't get the band loss code again, which is perfect. So I think. Now, because it was pretty clear that that charge pipe was disconnected, we should be good. So he's gonna head home to give me another update. I drove over here for no reason, but it is what it is. It's all. I just hope his car is good so we can start modifying it for you guys and then hopefully pick up my next build for the channel. Because you guys know, 100k build, I'm working on it for y'all. Never mind, guys, we are heading back there again. I know this video is not gonna end, guys. It's not gonna end. Take four, we're heading back to HMB. Uh, they're, they're fixing one thing at a time and something else keeps arising. So, uh, yeah, we're heading back. I don't want to go all the way back home and then come back, so we're heading back to HMB. Hopefully, we can get this thing sorted. Back to pick up Sear. This guy. Come on, dude. Let's just go. Leave your car. It's okay. Let them do their job. Come on, buddy. Come on, dude. Let's go. <laughs> all right, get your ass in the car. What is this, like the third time? Let me get your ass in the car. <laughs> Let me take your ass home. I'm tired of it, dude. I'll, I'll just drive my car over. He's the guy that owns this place. He's like, you see what you did? <laughs> he wanted this car, not me. I told him to get a 328. You wanted a 335. Hey, Wait, let me just take off your hands, bro. I'll give you three. How does that sound? Three? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. It's the next day, and Sears going inside to pick up his car. It turns out it was the exhaust sensor. I knew it. I knew it. It was loose. Damn, you know, you live and you learn, it's all good. He pretty much paid for the sensor, he paid for a diagnostic, and that's it. So it looks like he drove it for 20 minutes and no issues, so this could be promising. And we're officially back, so see, it picked me up. We went out in like a, how long was it drive? Like an hour? Yeah. It was roughly like an hour. Yeah. And? No check. <laughs> Finally, so no check engine. It turned out it was the Vanoss. One of the Vanoss was bad and one of the camshaft sensors were bad. So that's what it was. So honestly, 
Guys, we picked up used uh, van offs, we picked up used camshafts. Just pick up everything new. If that's a code, just replace the part and you should be good to go. We literally think it was something as extreme as the actual camshaft itself because we were just we were just too hesitant on getting OEM parts. So that's the way to go, especially with 335s and N54s and all these cars that require high-end parts. But anywho, um, I'm gonna take the 435 back. He's gonna go ahead and take the 335 back and uh, I don't know. I guess we're gonna go eat because I'm low-key kind of hungry. It is, uh, it's already 4 p.m. somehow. Anywho, I know you guys didn't see much so far, but um, we're hungry. No check engine? No check engine. <laughs> this shit's solid. Bro, what was that on your uh, your your mirror? Oh, it is a 100K <laughs> air freshener. <laughs> that plug, link down below, guys. <laughs> All right, let's head over to Chipotle. All right, we just pipe. Let's get something to eat. All right, I just got my food, but where'd this guy go? I don't know, I guess I'm eating alone? And it's officially been a couple days, so Seared's gotten his car back, and uh, I don't know if you guys know, but the whole day we were driving it, no check engine light, and then he drove it the next day, and then he got a check engine light, unfortunately. So unfortunately, he did get the check engine light again for the exact same code, but it's showing exhaust side again, so we're thinking the shop said they can go ahead and just replace it with a new parts exhaust sensor and Vanoss exhaust Vanoss. We're like, you know what, let's just order new parts ourselves, because if it's throwing those two codes and it worked for almost a day and a half, that we've never gotten it to work that much. So clearly the sensor is just not catching up with the actual, maybe the, the pressure of the car. So we're gonna go ahead and order a new Vanoss and a new cam, uh, uh, exhaust camshaft sensor and go ahead and replace both of those, hopefully the next video, and we should be good. Uh, but also in the next video, what I also wanna do is trim this guy and get it to fit because as you guys can see, a lot of you guys have told me to also paint this thing gloss black. But this is how it looks, and it just feels like it's missing a little bit of uh, it's just missing a little bit of black accents. If I put this right here, like look how much of an accent that gives to the car. So I really think that's a, definitely a right move. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim that, make it work. So if you guys can see right here, um, the trimming that needs to be done is most likely gonna be back here. I'm gonna cut it like right here and just trim it to where it could fit between the small gap. The gap gets bigger here, it gets pretty tight right here. So that's my only problem. You won't have this problem with this hood if you have any other intake than MST. MST only is the only intake that comes up this high, but it's not a big deal. Let's go ahead and trim this, make it work. If you take it down to any body shop, they'll make it work. But yeah, you guys will tell me to paint it gloss back, make it look more like this. So I'm probably gonna get that done. Also, we got another mod here from Keys Motorsports. That's actually more of a maintenance piece. And then we finally got another carbon fiber lip what you guys have been asking for to complete this front end. And then hopefully I'm also gonna go with the splitter to protect this lip, but at the same time extend the lip. So if you guys wanna see that, hopefully in the next video, smash that like button. If you guys wanna support your boy, check out that first link down below. And without further ado guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. See you guys in the next one. Peace out. I'm still working on the 100K, uh, the 100K build. She got me saying, yalla my baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl, we know you ain't easy. She got me saying, y'all love her, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl, we know you ain't easy. You know.